ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so if you guys don't know, last week Offset, he released his new album, and it's called Father of Four. And on the album cover was so cute. It was Offset with all four of his kids, um, two of which were both the same age, three years old, and that was kind of surprising. I didn't realize he had two three-year-olds, but that's a whole nother, you know, set of circumstances. So anyways, Offset has been on a tour, um, you know, talking about his album, promoting his album. He was on The Breakfast Club, and he basically, you know, admitted that, you know, he wasn't always the best father, even in the intro, Father of Four, he apologizes to his daughter for not being there the first few years of her life. So like I said, on that album, he speaks to his daughter and he says, Kalia, you are my first, first daughter. I missed the first years of your life. I'm sorry. Tell the truth. I ain't really know if I was your father. Tell the truth. I really didn't know your mama. Um, so he also spoke about this on The Breakfast Club as well. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, you were very honest about what, where you were at in your life when you had your kids. You know, you talk about your daughter and not even knowing for sure if that was your daughter at first. That was like one of the hardest moments of my life, to be honest. I found out I had, I was, just, I was hearing I have a kid, but she got to my mama on Facebook, and then, and then, when I see her, the kid, I know it's me. You know what I mean? But she five months. I don't even know this. Like I don't even know her mama. Like it's my first daughter, and I was holding that in for so long. You know, you famous. You try How to keep. How long did that take though to to, to take? Because I mean, it, it got to be difficult. You don't know this. Don't know the woman. You're not sure. You got your other two kids. Nothing wrong with making sure though. In your position? No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely make yeah. sure. But then oh, yeah, step but up I, to take but, care of your responsibilities of A, making sure, and then B, making sure that you're providing. Before you make sure, too, it's just like, I knew. So then it's like, dang, I couldn't. She's so beautiful. I couldn't I couldn't, I couldn't. couldn't do it like that. I mm-hmm. just try to be the invisible and just, here, put, yeah. I couldn't do that. I just had to stand up. So anyways, once the song went viral, and then on top of him going to the breakfast club and talking about the situation... His baby's mother, her name is Shay Lamore, okay? And she's also a rapper. I've seen her rapping a few times on Instagram and stuff like that. She ends up going on her live stream, and she goes on this long eight-minute rant, and she's really upset. She feels like Offset is not taking responsibility. He's kind of shifting the blame on her. And she admits in her live that, you know, they didn't know each other. It was a one-night stand. And my thing is, if somebody doesn't know you outside of just sleeping with you one time, of course they're going to question if that's their child or not, you know? So this live stream was interesting, to say the least. You know, and I will give her her props that I've never really heard from her. She's never really spoken about this situation. She's kind of just kept to herself and collected her checks, you know. But this time, she's speaking because a lot of people are coming at her or saying that she's a hoe and, you know, that's why Offset didn't believe her. So she's trying to, quote, unquote, set the record straight. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So, you know, and I just, let me put this out there first. Like, I really appreciate him stepping up because, you know, it's been a long fight for me. Nine months of being pregnant and not being able to contact or reach the person that you're pregnant by, that was hard for me. Like, I, he said that it was hard for him to not, you know what I'm saying, have been in her life. It was hard for me. You get what I'm saying? I was pregnant. I was reaching out to him. I got blocked on social media. I got blocked from his cell phone. He changed his number. You get what I'm saying? Like, I had no choice but to contact his mother when I did through Facebook. You know what I'm saying? And um, I appreciate him accepting responsibility somewhat. But for him to put it to the media like how he's putting it, to put the blame back on me, I feel like it's kind of fucked up. Um... Because it was both of our faults. We both created this child together. You get what I'm saying? I've been telling you. I've been asking you from a D, for a DNA test since I was pregnant. And you and you blocked me off everything. You get what I'm saying? You was running from that because I apparently you had another relation you had a relationship with somebody I didn't know about. You never told me about this. You get what I'm saying? I found out when you posted the sonogram on social media is when I found out that you had another baby on the way. And how I found out is Talaysia daddy texts me like, oh, he must be stepping up to the plate. I'm like, man, that ain't my baby. That's how I found out. I was four months pregnant when I found out. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just an insult to what the fuck I went through when I was pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't have nobody when I was pregnant. I was living in Atlanta. I had that baby by myself in the hospital by myself. I had a C-section. I had to get myself out the bed so I could grab my baby so I could feed my baby by myself. I didn't have nobody. 
You know what I'm saying? I had her as a newborn by myself. One of my closest homeboys is like a brother to me. He had to step up so I could go back to work so I could pay the bills. I never went public. So don't think that this live here is for clout chasing or nothing. It's just for expressing my, my, my side of the story or what women go through. Because... I feel like low-key he kind of put the blame back on me by saying that you didn't know me when it was both of our faults. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I got pregnant the first time we had sex. Yes. Yes, I did. You get what I'm saying? We didn't live in the same city, so it's not like we had a relationship together. We wasn't in a relationship. It was 4th of July. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like shit happens. You get what I'm saying? But I still never went public with it. I never wrote your, wrote the other woman that was pregnant and started no shit because I, I try to be understanding of the fact that like, okay, he living this lifestyle. It's probably a lot of girls that lie about shit like this. So I try to be understanding of that and I try to be compassionate and, and not, you know what I'm saying, go to the public when I was pregnant. I knew whose baby I was. Don't make it seem to the public I didn't know who my baby daddy was because I knew who my baby daddy was. People back in the city knew who my baby daddy was. Well, they knew it was one of the Migos. A lot of people thought it was Quavo for some reason. I don't know why. But a lot of people knew who, what was going on. You get what I'm saying? My baby's name is Kalia. It starts with a K. I knew what I was naming my child. My child still has my last name to this day. You get what I'm saying? And um, even I, and like I said, I'm not trying to take nothing away from him because he has came a long way. He's came a long way. He has. You get what I'm saying? But don't make me look so... Cr don't try to put the blame on me like it was my fault to the public. Because you're trying to be like... You, you're trying to put the blame off of you. You're not accepting full responsibility. And that's... And it's just like... You, 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 didn't, you didn't have to mention that part. Granted, I mentioned it when I did stand your ground. Yes, I mentioned that when I first... Before you even... You didn't meet Kalia till she was one years old. Let's put that out there. You didn't meet her till she was one. When you got locked up in Bullock County, that's how I knew how to reach you because you blocked me off everything. You blocked me off social media. You blocked you blocked my number. You changed your number. I used to send you your booking email emails, whatever email that you gave me. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to send that emails when she was born. I sent her pictures. I was just like, well, let me just wait. You know what I'm saying? I understand that he might not know. If I'm telling the truth, he don't trust me. I was telling you to get a DNA press, a DNA test since I was pregnant, cause that's possible. There is such a thing. Don't put the blame like it was just on me as to why you just started coming around, like as if like we didn't have no contact with each other. Or it was just like a like a like a one night stand, and I didn't have your number even type shit. Like I told you what it, what it was. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like don't don't have me looking out looking crazy out here trying to justify why you wasn't trying to step up whatever for whatever reason that you wasn't trying to step up like I I don't know you know what I'm saying probably because I wouldn't shut the fuck up you know you can't silence me I'm gonna talk I'm gonna get attention regardless because I've been doing music I was doing music before I met you I've been doing music you get what I'm saying and you know I was hard but I'm still hard to this day I keep getting better but what I'm saying is that. It's just like, don't don't try to put that shit on me, man. Like, it was just all my fault, period. Like, I appreciate that she has you now. I'm so appreciative of that because that's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. But you're not going to have me looking out here like I didn't know who the fuck my baby daddy was. Bitch, I knew it was yours since the jump. You get what I'm saying? And it's just, yeah, that's all. That's all I just wanted to say. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, again, I'm appreciative. I just, I don't like the narrative that's being spun like it's like you could have seen if that was your baby you know what i'm saying i was begging i was trying to tell you when i was pregnant since i was pregnant for a dna test like like um not to try to bring him in this or whatever but just for an example like solo lucci in the left sky you get what i'm saying like he felt like that could have it, it was a possibility of being his baby like he kept on trying to reach out to this girl for a DNA test, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. He kept he kept going because he don't know if that's his baby. He's trying to figure it out so he could so he could do his part, so he could get that off his conscience. You didn't do that. You get what I'm saying? You try to run the other way. And it wasn't until as of recently, but again, you get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna be appreciative of the fact that he actually did step up because every child I feel like needs their father. Little girls need their father, you know what I'm saying? She loves her daddy. She loves her daddy. Don't don't take don't take what I'm saying with today's presence i'm just reflecting back on the past from my standpoint he giving the baby daddy standpoint i'm giving the baby mama standpoint don't nobody know what the fuck it felt like to sit in that hospital bed with a fucking cut across my stomach having to get myself out the fucking bed by myself so i could feed my baby i did that shit by my fucking self ain't nobody say sorry to me for that you get what i'm saying and it's just like i just feel like it's fucked up 
It's a, it's a fuck no way to try to put it back on the woman, of course, to try to put it back on the woman's fault. Oh, I didn't know her. We didn't know each other. We created this child together. It was both of our responsibility. It was equally our responsibility. And you didn't step up till recently. She's about to be four years old. She's about to be four years old. You didn't meet her since she was one years old. When I sent you the pictures, and that's what I was talking about in Stand Your Ground. When I said I, I introduced my daughter through a letter, I sent him pictures because I knew where he was at. He was in jail. I knew how to get in contact with him. I wrote him, and I sent him pictures of Kalia. He caught me. You know, dang, yeah, I know that's my baby, man. You know, she look like me, and, you know, I'm going to take care of my baby. I take care of all my kids, that is and that. He was probably locked up in Bullet for, like, what, maybe four months? Didn't hear from him after that first phone call. Didn't hear from him. He asked me for a DNA test at, at that first phone call. He was like, if you don't mind, you know what I'm saying, we can take a DNA Of course not. I've been trying to get you to take a DNA test. You get what I'm saying? But um, then I didn't hear from him. I didn't hear from him when he got out. The only reason I was able to get through to him is because reading an article, I seen where they had listed his mother's name, and I looked her up, and I wrote her on Facebook, and I introduced her to her granddaughter that way. His mother was... All right, so you guys just heard that long, drawn-out tale, okay? And, you know, this just basically shows you that, you know, this should be a lesson and a wake-up call to young people who are watching this situation play out. You know, um, the, the thing that seems to keep getting lost on a lot of people is birth control, condoms, and getting to know each other. You know, her situation was not ideal. And unfortunately, you'll have a lot of young girls who look at her situation and say, well, don't matter because her baby daddy was offset. She secured that bag. But it's deeper than securing a bag. OK, this woman just told y'all, listen to what she's saying. Listen to the pain of her voice. Listen to her embarrassment. She went through an entire pregnancy by herself. When she gave birth to her newborn baby, no one was there besides her and her fucking homeboy that she grew up with. The father wasn't there to watch the birth. He wasn't there, you know, helping her out with late night feedings and diaper changings. She had to do all of that herself. So sometimes chasing a bag is not really worth it. And I'm not saying that that's what she was doing. I think she was being really honest when she said they were just having sex and she just happened to get pregnant. You know, I don't think she was trying to trap him. But, you know, you never know. You never know people's real intentions. But I just hope that people take away from this that that's not a good way to get pregnant and that's not a good situation to be in. Who wants to go through a nine-month pregnancy by themselves? You know, not sharing that joy and that happiness with the person that you know got you pregnant you know so I just find that whole situation sad and even after she had the child the fact that she was ignored and offset changed the number and she had to go through social media to contact his mother to get a hold of him that says a lot you know so I can imagine her embarrassment and her being you know upset but I also don't think she's clout chasing because if she wanted to put this story out there she could have been talked about it so I don't think she's clout chasing I think she's just clearing up some things and I think that she just wants to basically tell her side of the story which she should be allowed to do you know I don't think that she's doing that to shit on cardi b or come between cardi b and offset there's nothing there obviously between her and offset okay they didn't even know each other offset has since moved on he also had another child on the way at the time she was obviously the side chick and that's why he had no feelings for her had no feelings for the daughter initially until he found out for a fact that that was his child so the whole situation is sad um and i definitely feel for her i think her license was really sensible i think she was being very very honest you know but i just hope it's a wake-up call for other people looking at this situation you know one one thing like I always tell young girls is that, you know, watch other people's situations, watch their moves, watch their mistakes and watch their wins. OK, and especially their mistakes, not to judge people, but watch them so that way you're not destined to repeat them. That's the same thing I told y'all during the whole situation with Future and Sierra and how she made the mistake of getting with Future and getting pregnant by him. But then she cleaned up that mistake by getting with a good guy like Russell, um, like Russell Wilson. So again, watch other people's mistakes so that way you're not destined to go down the same path. And I think that this story definitely fits that. I think when you bring a child into the world, both parents should be heavily involved. Both parents should be just as excited, hopefully, you know, but I think that both parents need to be there for their child from the time the child comes out the womb until they're, you know, growing into adulthood. I think both parents need to be there. Kids need a father and a mother. So, you know, if you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're giving birth in a hospital room by yourself and the baby's father doesn't know, you know, your last name, doesn't even know who the hell you are because it was a one night stand, 
think about this situation before you find yourself in the same predicament. So I think that's what people should do is take this as a lesson learned. So I do respect her for being honest and sharing her story. And funny enough, I respect Offset for being honest and sharing his story because he didn't have to tell the world that. We did all the backstory between him and his daughter and his daughter's mother. You know, I was, you know, I did give it the side eye when he said both his kids were three. I'm like, well, well, damn, what the hell happened here? When I saw the ages, it definitely did raise my eyebrows, but I was really happy with him just being honest about his situation. At the end of the day, all I can do is respect the both of them for being honest about their situations. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Offset and his baby's mother, Shea Lamour, and what she had to say in response to Offset's interview on The Breakfast Club. Um, do you feel like she's clout chasing or do you feel like, you know what, she's just a young woman trying to tell her story? And then how do you guys feel about Offset's new album? Are you guys here for it? Are y'all feeling it? Are you not feeling it? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment.